Justin. All right, John Castlemedes is here from the Review Journal. He's got a column called Cats. He visits us every Wednesday. Welcome. Hello. And we've got a lot to talk about really uh, mm -hmm. today. Boy, let's first start out with, uh, I love Celine's back at the Coliseum. She's yeah. been sick. She had that minor surgery, right? Yeah, she had an ear condition that they had to address. It was uh, affecting uh, the way her vocals, and her, 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 it was an, an inability to sing in key right. because of the thing that was going on in her ear. So they, she had that addressed and is back in action as of last night. And you'll notice a cute, <laughs> Uh, Vegas Golden Knight fans that she's wearing a Mark Andre Fleury jersey there. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, she Just, performed on stage and everyone's saying thanks for you know back in the the town. It's great. Yeah, River Deep Mountain High was the song that she wore it during and wore it as a mini skirt. Okay, so, yeah. That was last night and she also <laughs> she also sang Ashes from Deadpool 2. It was her she premiered that song last night also. So it was a big night last night for yeah. Celine. Yeah, it was a good look for her. All right, and Elton John, you went to his final performance yes. at the Coliseum. Gosh, he's been here a long time. He, he did the performance and he was like jetted off to the royal wedding, right? He did. That's how yeah. He does it was, it was quite a thing. It was uh, he, Elton John performed 450 shows and two residencies since 2004 at the Coliseum. Mm -hmm. His last show was a, was soaring. It was really fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Those all those balloons there um, had uh, Elton John 450 stamped on them. Wow. Or EJ 450 stamped on them. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was one of the great residencies we've ever had in Las Vegas. No question about it. In terms of uh, musical quality, staging. Uh, the the quality of hits mm -hmm. and I've always said you know people ask what's your favorite show in town I usually break it down into different categories but as far as residencies when Elton John was interested when he was on it mm -hmm. there was no sh better show in Las Vegas than yeah. his yeah a lot of people look forward to his show a lot mm -hmm. of people were trying to squeeze in and get into those final performances yeah. but they were pricey because they were in such high demand it was totally packed <laughs> yeah totally packed good that night. Yeah, it, we'll was a, miss it was a great him. night all right well let's talk about the Golden Knights games you've been to many of them mm -hmm. over at T-Mobile you've been to the watch parties as well there's been mm -hmm. a lot of celebrities there like Lil John Wayne Newton. I think I even saw someone have a Charlie Sheen sighting. Oh, so, I didn't see that. Yeah, oh, so Wayne. interesting. But <laughs> what can we uh, uh, what can we expect? Backstreet Boys. With oh, Little Wayne or Little John? Uh, little John. I'm okay, sorry, Little John. John. But Wayne Newton. <laughs> Big oh way. yeah, that's it. It was Wayne. Newton. That's it. But they were all there at the at the uh, the most recent um, playoff game against the uh, uh, Winnipeg Jets. Mm -hmm. the, the Knights are the thing right now, folks. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was out at the watch party at uh, uh, T-Mobile Arena at mm -hmm. Toshiba Square. Everything is nice. Everything uh, the, that's taken over the entire city. I've been on national radio shows talking about this team. Mm -hmm. The most successful expansion team in the major sports ever. And uh, they, on Monday, are going to open the Stanley Cup playoffs against um, the winner of the Eastern Conference yeah. Final, either the Lightning or the uh, Washington Capitals. So I don't know what else to say, folks. Right, I mean, to, we're along for the ride. Sure, you know? there could be anything, right? Any surprise, any celeb sightings, any extra things that they add, fun entertainment. I mean, Absolutely, we're the town. yeah. I saw, you, you can see uh, Andre Agassi walking around the, the, the uh, T-Mobile Arena in a jersey. You, mm -hmm. can, you know, everybody is in, at T-Mobile for these games. And, uh, you know, I was there with Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top one night, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, actually with him. Right. Uh, you know, th Fun. that's what can you say? It's the place to be right now. Right. Okay, we got about a minute. Want to hit real quick. A Meryl and the Musical is about to open over at the Paris Theater. Mm -hmm. And that theater has, you know, struggled to get a kind of a permanent fixture since Jersey Boys. Yeah, it hasn't really had anything uh, since Jersey Boys. Marilyn um, is a musical adaptation of the career uh, and life of Marilyn Monroe, as told through her as, in her superstar days and also her um, original uh, incarnation as Norma Jean Baker. And uh, we are, uh, the star of the show is Ruby Lewis. Uh, you remember her from Baz and also sure. from Paramora. And it's right now, this is Ruby Lewis's and Travis Clore, a whole bunch of other stars are carrying this thing. It's an all-star team and it's opening for previews uh, tonight. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Listen, thanks so much. We will, of course, uh, keep you posted with your column at uh, Cats in the Review Journal. There